there is immense power held by the kaiju of the various Godzilla universes, but all of them, even the King of the Monsters, has a weakness. By looking at their battles, we can learn effective strategies to employ against them if the day should arrive. Today's kaiju, Gigan, the cyborg space monster of the Showa era, was featured in Godzilla vs. Megalon, Godzilla vs. Gigan, and Zone Fighters Episode 11. So let's take a look at these encounters to find out how to beat the Showa era's Gigan. The first iteration of Gigan was ruthless in battle. He can fly at speeds of up to Mach 3 and up to Mach 400 while in his space traveling diamond form. The majority of his offense comes from his hammer hands, the giant hooked claws on each arm. They would even be tipped with single use explosives for his zone fighter encounter. Also dangerous is his rotating cutter, a devastating spinning chest blade that can even be used mid flight to great effect. He also has a laser mounted on his head above his visor, though we've never seen it fired off in any fights as of yet. To begin with, Gigan works well as part of a team, so it's best to try to fight him on his own. He is skilled at combat both on the ground and in the air, but his air attacks come at amazing speed with extra force behind their impacts, so it may be a better choice, depending on your own abilities, to try to keep him grounded. If you have ranged attacks, use them to not only keep him from flying, but to keep him at a distance so as to avoid his hammer hands and chest blade. If possible, focus on an arm like Jet Jaguar was able to. With one of his arms broken, his defeat seemed imminent. Gigan is a cruel monster and will take pleasure in torturing his opponent, but this can be used against him as it distracts him from the task at hand. Getting into the head of Gigan is key. Once the momentum is not on his side, he quickly loses concentration. In his fight with Ghidorah against Anguirus and Godzilla, he accidentally hit Ghidorah and then continued to argue with him, further leading to his own downfall. In fact, if he's losing the fight, he may just retreat. What could be a devastating weapon, the laser on his head, was never even used, as Godzilla damaged it with a rock, so if it's operational, taking it out should be a top priority. Gigan may have a weakness to electricity, as we saw Mazer fire to the base was able to knock him over, and the lightning attack in Zone Fighter had a similar damaging effect. If Gigan is under control from space aliens or otherwise, disrupting this control could be advantageous as it temporarily confuses him. It is imperative that you don't fall for his tricks. Gigan is famous for misdirection, making you think he's beaten only to rise again when you're not looking. When Godzilla defeats him in Zone Fighter, he reawakens moments later using the ninja revival technique to surprise the big G. The Toho Special Effects All Monster Encyclopedia clarifies that Gigan is immortal so long as both of his claws are unscathed. However, in the fight, both claws are damaged and he is killed by Zone Fighter's Meteor Missile Might. Other monsters from the Showa era that I think exploit these stats and can defeat the Showa era Gigan are Godzilla, Mechagodzilla, Megalon, Hetera, King Ghidorah, and King Caesar. For the Heisei era and any others, I'm not going to factor in sizes or weights of the kaiju, just their abilities and weaknesses, and with that said, I'll go with Godzilla, Batra and Mothra, Mecha Godzilla and Mogera, Space Godzilla, Destoroya, King Ghidorah, and possibly Fire Rodan. For Millennium Era matchups, I'd go with Godzilla, Megagirus, Kiryu, and Mothra along with Monster X and the Kaiser. And for the legendary Monsterverse, of course there's Godzilla and King Ghidorah. Then you'd have Mothra and Rodan as competent competitors. I'd include Kong if he's got the axe. And the various Muto, if like in the novels, they can use an EMP to possibly shut down Gigan's robotic side. Do you want to know more about Gigan? If so, check out his explained episodes, or if I make them, more how to beat episodes. Thanks for watching guys, take care, and I hope to see you next time.